The goal today is to read this um, Excel. It's a plain Excel, so mm, the data is not inside a table, okay? So we need to make um, a Power Automate and what we're going to do is we are going to put the that plain Excel into OneDrive. Uh, it's going to emulate a, an integration. So we, we are going to receive plain Excels in, in OneDrive and we want to read them from Power Automate. This is, by the way, something I found in my, in my real work. It's a real scenario where we had an integration and they created Excel, plain Excel. And they couldn't just change their processes to create a, an Excel with a table. So if this seems to be something pretty simple, but it's not that simple. If you go to, let's create, a, let's create a, Let's create our Power Automate. Um, when a file is created with OneDrive, we are we are going to use OneDrive for business in this example. So uh, let's first of all the connection is not connected. Now it's connected. Okay. And when a file is created in our exactly when a file is created here, we want to read the Excel. But if we go to Excel online for business, we have a set of actions, but all of them rely on like all of them uh, to in order to read the Excel rely on the fact that the Excel has a table and we read that table for example list rows present in a table okay get a row let's see get a row if we go to get a row we're gonna see that this is just mm, location document library file table okay so we don't have a table in our example the real answer is that you actually, when you want to read a plain Excel file, you can't. And that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. No, <laughs> just kidding. What we, at least the, the solution we found is, well, let's first create a table. Uh, we tried to create a table directly from, uh, from Power Automate, but it was hard because um, we don't know what is going to be the size of that table and so on. So what we can use is an Excel script. If you go to the Excel, we go to automate and we can create new script. So this is script. I am not fan of using Excel scripts because um, every time you have to change it, it's like for, for an integration using Power Automate, you will need to change the Excel script itself and it doesn't work very fine with environment variables and so on. But in this case, what we are going to do is just a generic um, Excel script that, that will receive a plain Excel and, and create a table. So we can reuse it for everything and it shouldn't need much maintenance. So the Excel script itself is going to be just like this. We go like this and it's going to get the, the first worksheet. It's going to get the used range. That means it will get this and it's going to add a table. It will create a table with the name table one because it's the, the default one. So let's save the script. Okay, it seems to be fine. So now, well, let's, let's first try it. I mean, I know it works because I already tried, but it does exactly what we need. Now we have a table, table one, da, da, da. So I want to not save. Okay, so now what we are gonna do is, first of all, we are going to try our, I got it. We are going to, to try our, our Excel script. So instead of this one, I want to delete this one. Okay. Add an action that it's 
in Excel Online for Business and it's um, run script from SharePoint library. We are running it from OneDrive, but it's done through this uh, action. OneDrive, the workbook, here we need to, to provide the ID of the, of the created um, of the created one because we want it to be dynamic. We don't want to be to, to select a, a specific um, Excel. Okay, ex the script location is in the same place, and this is going to be a static because we have it here. Okay, save, and now we are going to. If this works fine, we are going to have the table one and we are going to read that table one. So we go here, list rows, again. Of course, all of this should be environment variables and that stuff, but this is just um, a quick demo. Here in the table, we, we have to put the custom value, let's say table one. There's a tiny detail here, how often it's set to five minutes. I don't have five minutes, so let's put 15 seconds. So we can test it, save. And now let's, uh, let's test it. If I go here to our inbound Excel folder and I add our plain Excel, that it was here. Okay. There you are, it's running and it runs successfully. Let's see if it actually read the information. There you are, first record, second record, and third record. If we now go to the plain Excel, it should, yeah, exactly. It should have the table created. That's perfect. A problem with this Excel. Imagine that I want to resubmit because of whatever reason. Now the table is already there. So if the problem with this flow is that if you receive an Excel that already has a table, it's going to fail, even if the table is table one. So what, what I am going to make is a little change in it, if you don't mind. That is, first we're going to, let's check. If that Excel actually already has a table. Because if, if so, our script makes no sense. So we won't execute it. We have this get tables option. We can um, send the identifier here. This is going to give us a, an array with all the tables. So let's add a condition here. Condition. Um, this condition is going to be based on the body value we want to. Check the length, for example. Ideally, you would also, like, if you check and, and there's a table, you will use that table in the next script instead of trusting it's going to be table one. But for let's keep it simple for this demo. Um, and let's understand how this get tables works. So let's say if length is equal to um, zero, that means there's no table in our Excel, so it's a, actually a plain Excel, then um, we run the script. If not, we read it. Save. Okay, and now if we um, re-execute the failed one, 
it shouldn't try to execute the, the, the script because it's going to detect that there's already a table there. Exactly, now it works. Um, if you are curious about the get tables, these get tables will give you this body with the different tables. So you can get the name of the table and use it here if you want it to make it more professional. And if not, using use table one. Like you could have a variable called table name and use it there. And if the condition is true, then you just put that table hard coded to table one. The condition is false. You need to loop through that array or maybe if there's more than one table you just throw an error because you don't expect more than one table and you get the table name and set it to the variable and, and make it work with different table names too so that would be it that's what i wanted to to show you well let's let's test this again with uh plain text um and see how this condition is met and and, and it's working Okay, now it's running. Tables, there's no tables. So we expect it to run the script and get the information from the plain Excel. Guar. It took 35 seconds to run the script. That's pretty much. But we got to our goal. So that's it. Thank you very much for for your attention i hope this was useful and i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did recording and editing it for you